Hey people, it is Saturday, October the 26th. The time is 5.24 in the late afternoon slash early evening. And it's currently about 12 degrees Celsius. I'm here in East York, the one-time borough, which still goes by East York to most people who live in this area. East York Community Centre across the street, as a matter of fact, with a Toronto Public Library branch. This is Pape Avenue. I'm heading south. And I'll be walking through Pape Village. Here in Old East York. Pape Village is a neighbourhood commercial strip serving a good chunk of this area. With all the usual shops, restaurants, and services that one would expect to find along a main street. And it starts just right up ahead and continues all the way down, almost, not quite, but almost all the way down to Danforth Avenue. It sort of peters out eventually. before we get to Danforth. But I'll definitely walk through the heart of Pape Village. What a nice fall Saturday afternoon. At a Food Basics grocery store. This is a fairly dense little pocket of activity here, in addition to the commercial strip. There are a fair number of high-rise apartment buildings all around the area. As you can see, most of the cross streets are aligned with these apartment buildings. These date back to the 1960s, for the most part. That's when Toronto really went full on with the high-rise apartment construction boom. I think before all these buildings went in, it was just mostly small, detached houses. And there still are. Plenty of those around also on lots of the other neighborhood streets. East York is considered a suburban area for the most part, but it does have a fairly dense pre-war character to a good chunk of it. There's sort of two parts of East York, the old pre-war part, which is called Old East York, and the newer post-war suburban part of East York that is mostly on the other side of the Don Valley, which includes neighborhoods like Thorncliffe Park. I quite like this part of East York here. I think it has a lot of character. And East York also includes a small part of Danforth Avenue further to the east, which is also quite urban in character, as well as the old Bayview Avenue strip along, along Bayview Avenue in the former town of Leaside. That area is called Bayview Village. But Bayview Village is much more upscale in nature. This is definitely not an upscale commercial strip here. Much more down to earth and somewhat working class in appearance anyway. Got 
Gowan Avenue. <laughs> no relation to the Canadian singer, I'm sure. And I think the apartments in these high-rises all around the area definitely tend to be a lot more affordable than you'll find in some other neighborhoods around town. Of course, the buildings are quite old now and they vary in their condition, I'm sure. I think he was speaking Greek. I'm not exactly sure, but there is a sizable Greek community all throughout this area. Greek town, of course, is along Danforth Avenue. Although that area is not within East York, that's within the old city of Toronto. There's the Pape bus heading to Thorncliffe Park. A new subway line will be passing close by to this area, the Ontario line. It's currently under construction. So residents here will definitely have a much quicker way to get downtown. Although, to be honest, a straight shot down Pape Avenue on the bus to Pape Station doesn't take very long at all. It's a quick transfer. So we still have some of the commercial strip on this side. Whereas over here, it's residential. We've got some nice Halloween <laughs> decor here. Too bad at all. There's a Greek restaurant. And another one. I think this area was built up maybe a little over a hundred years ago. Of course, some houses here and there date back from earlier times. But these are pretty typical East York style houses, at least in this part of East York. Small little bungalows built in the immediate post-war era. Maybe back to the 1930s, really, for some of these little bungalows. 
like I said, this area was built up mostly by the 1920s. You'll find examples of much older homes. It's the everything store. It has a sort of old school look to it. I wonder how far back that goes, the building anyway. Back to the days when you drive up to the burger place and park your car and then maybe they would come out to your car and take your order on roller skates or something like that. <laughs> I remember there was an a &W restaurant in my hometown that was doing that very thing when I was a little boy. My dog spot. You could read that in two different ways. Not sure, yeah, this is part of the Ontario line here. I do warn it a little bit. Got more retail. And good, I was looking for a building that had a, a year of construction and here's one across the street, so 1930. So I could imagine that many of the commercial buildings along here are probably of a similar age, some a bit older, some a bit newer, as well as those houses I mentioned earlier. And these houses over here are probably also of a similar age. A Greek gospel church. This house might be older. bakery and food store.
Got the houses that basically front right up onto the street here with no front yard to speak of. You just step <laughs> off your porch directly onto the sidewalk for the most part. I like it, it's not pretty. It has a very lived in sort of feel and it's definitely urban enough for my liking. It's quite comparable to many neighborhoods you'll find in the old city of Toronto. In the old city, city, the houses and retail strips might be somewhat older, but the style of construction is still quite similar and the density is quite similar. At least along the main streets. On the residential side streets, I think you'll find a difference there. Old Toronto is definitely much denser and older. I wonder if this church has a year of construction. I don't see one. It's definitely handy when they do have a nice little year. There we go, 1929. Sometimes you just gotta look and you'll find it. Here's Pape Station. Got more construction over there for the Ontario line. Basically a brand new Pape Station <laughs> is being built there. This will be an interchange station where line two and the Ontario line intersect with each other. That's a major project there. They tore down a half of a block of old commercial storefronts on Danforth Avenue. I think this was a Greek restaurant. And I think we're actually back in the old city of Toronto now. I didn't really pay too much attention, but we did cross the border, which doesn't really exist anymore. But at one time there was a boundary between East York and the old city of Toronto. Because we're definitely coming into Greek town now on Danforth Avenue. 
which is just right up ahead. Here we are, Danforth as. I think there's some major densification coming to this intersection, brought on by the Ontario line. Some high rise towers will be constructed or they're proposed to be constructed anyway. I think there's been a lot of oppo opposition to them, which seems silly to me. I think a major intersection with a major subway interchange is exactly where you should build some high density high rise buildings, but that's just me. All right, so now we're in Greek town on Danforth Ave. It's like the landmark of the neighborhood. Holy name, Roman Catholic Church. You can see the street signs are in Greek and in English. Some Montreal style bagels in Greek town. <laughs> it's closed though. Looks like it's closed down. I think there are other places in town where you can get those. I still have never tried a Montreal style bagel. Even when I was in Montreal, I didn't try it. Not that much, but. Carla Avenue. Got a nice used bookstore here with some awesome Halloween decor. directly into the sun. Maybe I could cross the street. I think it's protected by the shade on this side. Awesome view of downtown up ahead in Bloor Yorkville. There we go, much better. Oh, 
This area is definitely much trendier and popular than Pape Village. Everything is a bit more upscale in nature. Hey, it's Toronto's Walkman. I've been seeing this guy for years. Doesn't record his walks though. Well, from one walkman to another, keep it up, dude. <laughs> Hopefully, he's doing all right. Seems to be having a little trouble there with the walking, actually. This guy has probably walked many, many, many times over the amount of distance I've walked. I'm just a downright upstart amateur compared to him. Coming out of Greek Town. Astoria. So we'll start to wrap up the walk here as we make our way west along Danforth. To the last few blocks of Greek Town. So I hope you enjoyed the walk where we started walking south down Pape Avenue and made our way through Pape Village. Checking out that neighborhood and then eventually finding ourselves on Danforth here to walk through some of Greek Town on a nice somewhat blustery fall day. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and be sure to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as a View My Merch store, or you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member, or by sending a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram also under K Continuum. So thanks for watching, and thanks to all the channel members, and be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue. <laughs>